In this tutorial, we're going to see a little bit about the role of sockets, it's the original concepts behind socket connection and socket communication. You should check out that you actually have a little bit basic understanding of the network application programming. Um, otherwise, you could go in and see a video, for example, like uh, Good Warriors or something else. Socket programming can both use UDP or TCP. In this case here, we look at TCP. So what is a socket? Socket can be viewed as a door, a gateway between your process, your program running here as a process, and the TCP protocol here. So you write to the socket, and the socket will actually do the interaction with the TCP and you don't have to care about this TCP. So you can write something here, send it over the internet to the receiver, go through a socket on the receiver side, and then the process here on the receiver side can actually read what you have written, for example. If we look at the basic schedule of the protocol, It's more or less like this. We've got the server side here and the client here. On the server side, I start to create a server socket. This is on a special port number. And this server socket we call welcome socket. When you have created this, we will go in and activate or call a message named accept here and when I do this the whole process on the server side is blocked it is waiting for somebody to knock on the door that somebody to knock on the door is the client process the client process here will create a socket this time it is not a server socket but a client socket of the class socket and in this creation process it will use the host id and a port number the host id can be a name of the host or it can be the ip address when it creates this socket a freeway tcp handshake starts it hits the accept method some parameters of communication is negotiated and then this process here will send back an acknowledgement. And within this acknowledgement also comes a new socket, not a server socket, but a normal socket. This information about the socket goes to the client. So now I have a connection socket over here. And this one knows the connection socket and it can start to send a request to the client socket. So now I send something over here. And if you set up your program like a chat program, then you can write a reply back. I can read the reply and then it can goes on forever here this communication until you want to stop it. You stop it simply by calling the method close on the client side and on the server. That is in basically all socket programming and that's about it right now. Next step for you would be to try to make your first Java programming on socket connection. So I will advise you to go in and see the tutorial introduction number one, socket connection.